Is this Sun Ninja Beach Tent actually going to be strong enough to take on 15 mile per hour winds? Is this Sun Ninja Beach Shade really water resistant? And do I personally think that this Sun Ninja is worth the $159.95 I paid for it? Well, in this review video, we're going to set up and test out this sun shelter to see if it actually is a true ninja. The Sun Ninja carrying bag contains everything we're going to need for a setup, including the Ninja shovel, which is pretty handy. We got the Ninja pegs, which are good for backyard setups. Here are two pairs of Ninja poles, which have the setup instructions right on the sleeves. And the star of the show, the 10 foot by 10 foot Lycra Beach Tent. After I interlock the aluminum ninja poles together, which is pretty easy, I need to figure out which way the wind is blowing. Because these types of beach canopies need to face into the wind while the whole thing's gonna curve inward and we're not gonna get much headroom. When the beach shade is set up correctly, the breeze will blow into it, pushing the canopy outward. And when it does, we'll have it made in the shade. Now to figure out the wind direction, sometimes I just need to sprinkle a little bit of sand from between my fingertips. And sometimes the wind direction is a bit more obvious. Now I want to spread out the Sun Ninja beach tent so it makes a nice big giant X shape on the beach. On a calm day, I can take my time and leisurely mosey around the sunshade, making my giant X shape on the beach with absolutely no rush at all and then I can just fill up the corner sand pockets without any kind of urgency. When the wind is blowing like this, however, I do not want to let go, or the whole thing's gonna blow away and attack some poor, unsuspecting family down the beach. The best thing for me to do in this situation is to anchor down one of the sand pockets with enough sand so it doesn't blow away. Then I can make my way around the tent, filling up the sand pockets, stretching them out, and then filling them up even more until they're completely filled with sand. Once we have our giant X shape on the beach, we can finally take the ninja poles and prop up the tent. It's best to place the foam balls about 5 inches away from the corners, so it looks something like this. Now there's absolutely no need to drive the bottom of the poles into the sand, because there should be enough tension to hold them right in place. But to be on the safe side, the bungee ball ties that are used to hold the folded poles together can also be used to help secure the top of the poles right to the beach tent. Now on a calm day, my work here is done and I can just kick back and enjoy the shade. When the wind starts getting feisty, however, the Sun Ninja may start getting somewhat rambunctious. And when it does, I'm gonna have to deal with the occasional maintenance issue. Now the easiest fix is to readjust the poles so they're angled slightly into the wind. Now the bungee ball ties do work well, but they're not 100% reliable. This bungee ball tie couldn't quite take it anymore and just jumped ship. And I had to leap into action to secure it back on. Now if you were impressed with that leap and have found this video helpful so far, please hit that like button. It would really make me smile. Now to prevent the top from flying around like it's had too much caffeine, I decided to take down the poles and fill up the corner pockets with even more sand. And then I stretched out the beach tent even more to increase the tension. Now this sun shelter is battling 15 mile per hour winds and it's holding up like a true sun ninja. Now the marketing tags on the carrying bag tell us that this sun ninja is indeed water resistant. To see if it would actually keep me dry during a light shower, I set up my sun ninja beach tent in the backyard using the ninja pegs, which work great by the way. I also thought it would be cool to set it up using all four poles. 
I was actually confident that this canopy would keep me fairly dry. And boy, was I wrong. The fabric actually absorbed some of the water, but most of the water just poured right through. Needless to say, I got soaked. I later decided that this wasn't the best test because the old nozzle we were using didn't really have a good mist setting, so I ordered a whole new garter nozzle for a do-over. This Sun Ninja Beach Shade fared a little better the second time around. This time, the water didn't pour through the fabric, and the leaves that were under it stayed fairly dry. But when I speed up the video, you can actually see how it absorbs most of the moisture and gets bogged right down. Based on my backyard test, the Sun Ninja Beach Tent wouldn't be my first personal choice to bring to the beach if there was a chance of rain in the forecast. Back at the beach, Dave and I decided to check out the headroom underneath the front of the beach tent. The height of the poles are just over six and a half feet. To help give you a little bit of scale here, I'm six foot five and Dave is about 5'10". Now with a two pole setup, I would say that this lycra canopy could provide enough shade for at least four adults to sit under it comfortably. Although if the wind direction doesn't cooperate with the angle of the sun, we're not gonna get much of the Sun Ninja's UPF 50 plus sun protection. Now many other similar beach shades have lines or ropes connecting the sandbags to the main canopy. What really makes the Sun Ninja stand out is that the canopy and the sand anchors are actually connected by the fabric itself. So it acts as one complete stretchy organism. Now once it's all packed up in the carrying bag, the whole kit and caboodle weighs less than 10 pounds. So it's nice and portable. Now, I paid about 160 bucks for this Sun Ninja with the four poles. If you want a Sun Ninja with just two poles, you can currently pick one up online for around 140 bucks. I'll put online buying options in the description below, just in case you're interested. Now, 160 bucks is a lot of money for a beach tent, but after using the Sun Ninja Beach Shade on six different days, I must say I'm pretty happy with my purchase. And I personally think that this beach tent is indeed a true ninja. Now before you go off and watch another one of my videos, I just want to mention real quick that I'm currently producing a video comparing the Sun Ninja to similar beach tents. So if you found this video interesting, you may want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this review video, and I hope you take it easy at the beach.